What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this is a surprise midweek video because to the date of this dropping is my full one year as a content creator. I am super excited about this because it's something I wanted to get into for a very long time and I wanted to just share my journey and hopefully this will be an inspiration to anyone out there who's looking to start and I wanted it to be a very brief video and to the point you guys know how I do. So let's get into the video. First off, if you're not following me over on TikTok and Instagram, that's where I first started. So please go there. You will find my original like bougie cousin videos. And I think you will really love those. So go check me out over there. And if you're not here as a subscriber, please subscribe and click the like button and share, okay? It's a good time. Okay, I want to break this down into four kind of sections. And the first one is let your failures be your lessons, okay? And I know when you're in a thick of it and you are content creating and you're making amazing content and it's going nowhere, that is very difficult to hear. But I want you guys to know this is not my first rodeo. I've had probably three to four failed Instagram accounts, um, one failed TikTok account, and two failed YouTube channels. But my lessons learned from that is because I learned how to do a movie. I learned how to do editing, reels, understanding the algorithm. All of those things and those failures were my lessons learned. How to communicate on the app. What are the best things for the app? And a lot of times your failures can feel like so massive. For me, when I started my very first YouTube channel, it took a camera. And I remember thinking, you hear everyone say, start with your iPhone. I had a very difficult time turning my iPhone to the side and looking in the right place for the camera. So I decided if I'm going to take this serious, that next Christmas I asked my husband, instead of getting me a pair of shoes or a bag, get me a camera. The camera in which I'm using right now. I got that camera back in 2017 and it is just being avidly used now. So my failed attempt at YouTube is me learning how to edit my videos on iMovie, how to, you know, get the best equipment. This is not the best camera, but I have something to get me started for when I went viral. So you went viral, now what, okay? So just to go back, I told you guys I had a few failed pages. I was over on my personal Instagram page, joking around Christmas time about the cheapest gifts you can get your nieces or nephews. And I got a lot of DMs from my friends and family asking, you know, what can I get my niece or nephew? Do you have any other suggestions? And at the time, we were in the middle of COVID. So I had been ordering like the cheapest thing I could find personally on like um, Chanel, Dior, and they were coming very beautifully packaged. And I thought, well, people may want to know about this. So why don't I do this in a funny kind of way? If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you know I have a cousin who's like my sister, my friend, my best friend. Um, she is a furrier and I had just purchased my full length mint coat from her so I thought well how great would it be if I throw the coat on grab the most unbougie thing which is an iPhone cord and make this video right now honestly I had no idea this would go any place and it's funny because a lot of times when creating content the thing you don't think will do well is sometimes your best content so I got the first video done um I probably had 200 TikTok followers and then I posted it like in the evening at night sometime. I went to bed. I didn't think nothing of it and I woke up and everything had just broke loose. I went from 200 to 16,000 followers overnight and it was steadily growing. It felt like I don't gamble, but if I went to a casino and put a random coin in a machine, pulled the lever, and all the bells and whistles went off, that's what it feels like. It's almost like a high almost. And so I was very overwhelmed. I didn't really know what to do. I was, and I said I don't know what, didn't know what to do because I knew how to do editing. I knew how to do YouTube. I knew how to work Instagram, but I didn't know what was next. Now, I did anticipate that being a series, and I thought this would gain me, you know, 20, 30, 30 followers each post. I did not think it would take off in that way. So, once it took off, I had to, like, grab it by the horns and figure it out. So having TikTok, you guys know that most creators here work off of commission when it comes to like links or brand deals. So for TikTok, LTK is one of the main platforms that most of us make our commission on. In order to get approved for that, you have to like use your numbers from creating to, to open that door. And for me, TikTok created that key that opened the door. I had so many people telling me I ordered the mirror, I ordered four, I ordered five of them, and at first I felt like, gosh, I missed out on a lot of commission. However, that one video was the key to opening the door for me getting my links. So I was able to take that and get approved to get the commissions. Now, 
I still didn't know what I was doing because I was new to LTK. And this is where I'm grateful to other creators that, you know, you reach out to. I was feeling overwhelmed because immediately everyone in my family became a content creating expert and had their own take on what I should and shouldn't be doing. And I needed people that are in this space to help me out. Um, you guys know Miss Janae over here on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, YouTube. I reached out to her. She had an event here in the DMV area. I asked if we could meet for um, drinks, and she agreed. Let me tell you, from that meeting, she taught me so much, gave me so much encouragement, and I truly am grateful for her because leaving that meeting with her in April, I was able to double my Like to Know It income. Now, listen, I wasn't making a ton of money, but the couple of hundred dollars that I did make prior to meeting her was able to be doubled by the end of that meeting, and I understood the app a lot better. And I'm saying that to say, you know, to these content creators, including myself, if someone's reaching out to you and they want to know what to do next or how to do it we have to be a community and we have to help each other and so by her helping me and I met a few other creators as well but that really set me on the path and I truly appreciate that time that we spent together so the next thing I would say is you have to understand the beast of social media so TikTok and Instagram are their own animals. They work totally different. Yes, you post the same kind of form content, but you have to deal with different algorithms and different things, right? And let me give you a prime example. You would think that my viral video that did 4 million views now over on TikTok, when I rolled that over to Instagram, should at least get 100,000 views. Absolutely not. That video failed completely short. And um, I started my Instagram off with zero, just like everybody else. So I started this new Instagram page. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll upload these viral videos. At this point, I had probably five videos that were doing really great numbers. Every single one failed over on Instagram. Because Instagram likes a different thing. TikTok is quick to the point it wants to learn something. Instagram likes aesthetics and aesthetically pleasing things. And it was a different thing. So the bougie cousin stuff just kind of fell by the wayside. Now that leads me to something else. Going viral can be difficult. Because you can go viral for the wrong thing. You can go viral for a sound. You can go viral for cussing out your children after a long day's work, right? But that's not what you plan on doing. I happen to luck up and fall under... I feel like the Bougie Cousin content is a foundation. And from that foundation, I can branch off into other stuff. So once I saw that my Instagram just really wasn't moving, I thought, why don't I start getting into more like get ready with me? Because maybe that's what Instagram wants, right? So... From there, I went to Fox 5. I had probably 200 followers over on Instagram at that time because the Bougie Cousin content wasn't picking up there. And once I left Fox 5 that day, I had 900 followers, which was a great jump within like literally 30 minutes. So I knew like, okay, this is working. It's organic. It's organically growing. And that's what you want. You don't want to be a creator that's buying likes, buying comments, buying followers. You don't want to do the uh, old school thing, which was like follow and unfollow. I think they've cracked down on that now anyway. But I wanted organic people. And so I thought, okay, this is giving me a little bit more momentum. Okay, this is working out here, right? So I started doing Get Ready With Me's. Then I had a viral post over on uh, Instagram, which is my target post. Now, what's funny about this post is this post was all my personality. And if you watch through the post, which, by the way, the lighting is terrible. I don't know. My makeup looks washed out. I have no clue what was happening here. But I, you see my personality kind of pick up through the post. You see I kind of go from like, oh, this is what I bought. And, and then, and then I, my personality starts to come out. And they loved it. Literally took about a week and a half. I went from two to 300 followers to, t well, no, the 900 I had from Fox 5 um, up to 10, over 10,000 followers within a week. And I was super duper excited about that. And it gave me the momentum to keep going, right? So now I've gone viral on both platforms. And I felt like, okay, I'm onto something here. But I had to learn the beast. Instagram once aesthetically pleasing, what did you wear today, you ate with your friends, what did you guys eat, and TikTok wants quick, to the point information, right? Now, I'm going to speak about something that's very controversial, which is the algorithm. And I'm not an expert. This is just my take on it, right? The algorithm is not against you. Sometimes the it's the right post, it's the wrong day. It's the right post, but it's the wrong hour. It's the right post with a bad intro. 
knowing your analytics will help you out a lot. Knowing like right now, I think a lot of creators at the time this video is going up, is having a pretty rough ending of their fourth quarter. They're just not seeing the numbers they're used to seeing. But you have a lot of large companies that are paying these apps to produce their to produce their posts, you know, for Christmas, right? So a lot of times your information is falling flat. I know my audience is online on Instagram between 5 and 6.30. If I post out of that pocket, it, it won't do as well. I'm not saying that it won't get likes, but it just won't be the same. I may get 800 likes if I post at the right time, or I may get 230, right? And so the point is that when you want to be a content creator, you have to be able to show brands that, hey, I'm able to post this information and people like what I'm putting down. But you can't do that if you're getting 50 likes. So, of course, it's a big deal to get the engagement of the audience. And my last thing is going to be believing in you. So, you heard me at the beginning of this video state that I was a reseller prior to this. So, I had a resale page that was two of my Instagrams. One was me being a reseller showing what I purchased from the thrift store or from yard sales to resell over on Poshmark or eBay. That failed miserably. That is a very, very niche market. And, um... They just wasn't checking for it. They just, it, I just couldn't figure it out, right? Then I did the budgeting reseller. We got into COVID years. I had a lot of extra money. I'm making this money over on resale. Let me show how I was reselling. And then I was paying down my debt. I thought, oh, this right here, this is a winner. Failed, okay? I did probably seven to eight videos. Maybe I had three to 400 followings. It, it just didn't land, right? So... Recently, in the last month or two, I closed the resale business. With anything that you do, you have to have your ears to the street and your boots to the ground. Reselling, just like being online as a creator, you have to do your research. You have to know what's popping. What is the new thing? What's the new trend? I could not do both. I was feeling very overwhelmed. And this helps with, like, burnout. I haven't even spoke about burnout yet because I haven't gotten there. I've been a year into the game so far. Um... But I do feel it, right? I do feel that that could come on. And I had to let something go. I work a nine-to-five job. I'm a mom. And I'm also a wife. And I felt like trying to be a reseller, a content creator. And before I started my YouTube, I felt like long-form content is going to take a little bit more out of me. What can I give up if I really want this to work? And I decided to close the resale business. And this is where my trust in God comes in. Because the resale business has made me more money than content creating has so far. And I felt like, am I really ready to give that up? But I did not have the time for both things. I could not have my ears to the street on what's good over on eBay and, and Poshmark and also what's happening over here in the content creating lane. So it just made sense to let it go. But let me tell you how God works. The beauty of it was I've been in my community now for over 10 years. We've never had a yard sale. I made a decision on a Monday to sell the resale business. I get a notice from my community saying, Saturday, we're going to have a yard sale. And I knew, I said, oh, this is God. But what's even better is I was able to reach out to people I knew in the resale community. And I had someone come through and blindly buy all of my old inventory. And that, to me, let me know that I'm headed down the right path. Also, when I started uh, Bougie Cousin, Bougie Cousin to me is a very normal term. Even the way I spell it, I think it's very textbook. Um... And I thought, okay, I'm going to probably have to be Bougie Cousin 123 over on Instagram. Every single platform I went on, Bougie Cousin was available, the way I spelled it. And I felt like, okay, God, this is a sign that you want me to do this. And I just want to let you guys know, if you're in this creator space and it's feeling a little overwhelming, you have it. You don't know what's going to win. We are all just kind of throwing it at the wall and kind of seeing what sticks. But please understand, if you fail at this right now, your next thing, this is a lesson for you. You're learning how to do SEO. You're learning how to create a web page. You're learning how to do all these different things. I'm trying to get into Pinterest right now. That's the next thing. I know nothing about Pinterest. So it's just a lessons learned. And it may not work right now, but it will work for you later. Just keep trying. So I hope this video helps someone out because... Content creating has been very fun for me. I am a girl who loves fashion, but maybe your industry is home redecorating. Maybe it's your family content and your lifestyle content. It's okay. And like I mentioned here on this on this video, 
if you want to get into this, transfer your Christmas gifts, your birthday gifts, your Mother's Day gifts into things that you need for this business. Get a tripod from your child instead of getting, you know, a t-shirt. Ask your husband for the camera or your mom or whoever's going to give you the gift. Ask them for things that you need to get into this business. Once you do that, it's going to feel bad. My camera that I have here now that I'm filming on, I've had since 2017. It sat in a box for almost three years that it wasn't used. Because once my YouTube page failed, I didn't have a need for this camera. This was really a YouTube camera. I can use my iPhone for everything else. So it sat and sat and sat, and that was $700 that I felt so badly about. However, when I went viral, I had the pieces in place to get moving. So I hope this video helped you guys, and I'll see you guys on Monday.